Well, busy news in terms of uh, signings for the Calgary Flames as we quickly approach another training camp here at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. And uh, pleased to welcome in one of the newest Calgary Flames. It's defenseman Eric Branson. And uh, Eric, first of all, congrats on the uh, one-year deal joining the Calgary Flames. And uh, maybe just first of all, uh, take us a little behind the scenes, how it kind of played out for you and uh, why Calgary was a good fit. Uh, thank you, first and foremost. Um, yeah, I, I had had some time with uh, Daryl Sutter in Anaheim. And they were the uh, the first call I got during free agency. And, um, yeah, we worked something out. And it was kind of a no-brainer when Daryl called me. Uh, we got along real well with, with my time down there. And um, I was really excited about the opportunity. So here we are now. Well, and obviously, you know, kind of a fresh start for Daryl in terms of being able to start right through training camp, uh, you know, coming in last season midway through. But, you know, what about Daryl, uh, you know, really strikes you in terms of those conversations, both in Anaheim and maybe just over the offseason? Why the why is such a good fit between the two of you? Uh, I mean, Daryl, Daryl likes teams that have guys like me on them. Um, I mean, I, I obviously his years in, in L.A. are were huge and probably the most memorable for him. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we just got along big time in Anaheim. I, I really liked the way he thought the game, the way he saw it. Um, and obviously everybody I've spoken to around the league who who's played, uh, played for him has, has really enjoyed him. And, and um, you know, as I said, his understanding of the game along with how he manages an 82 game season. So uh, I'm very excited about it. What, what about uh, the team you're joining? Uh, Familiarity-wise, I know you played a little bit with uh, Jacob Markstrom back kind of as you broke into the league. Um, anybody else that, uh, you, you know, you're familiar with in terms of this group uh, heading in? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually staying at Chris Tanev's house right now. So um, it's I have a few buddies on the team. Uh, Marky and Tanny, obviously, the most played with Marky is our third time playing together. So that's, that's a lot of fun. Um, and Tanny is our second time. So... Um, you know, you, I've been around long enough and, and a lot of these introductions are uh, unique in their own way and, and uh, very similar in others. So um, just getting to know the guys is, is uh, a lot of fun. Um, you know, by the end of next week, I'll be pretty familiar with everything. Yeah, fair enough. It, uh, it's a small circle when you're going to dive down deep into it. What about uh, the idea of uh, you know, coming into Calgary and, and how quickly that can uh, can fit on the, on the ice. I mean, obviously you skate with them here and then get through training camp, but I would imagine it's nice to have kind of a full training camp and a full season to look ahead of, uh, you know, just some more normalcy, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, obviously. I mean, last year was, was a difficult year for, uh, I shouldn't say difficult because it was a lot more difficult for a lot of other people, but um, sure. it, was, it was a different year. For sure. Uh, just the way, you know, the season is and, and uh, being so short and, and seeing the same teams over and over and over again was was unique in and of itself. So, um, yeah, just getting back to a little bit of normalcy, real training camp, real season. Um, everybody's been talking about it. It's it's really exciting. Well, maybe just explain to me a little bit last year because, uh, you know, obviously you spent a bulk of it in Ottawa, but, uh, and seeing a little bit of Calgary, a little bit of everybody else, or a lot of it, um, you know, just what was it like for you? And then maybe, you know, what you garnered from Calgary on the opposition side. Yeah. I mean, we always, they always gave us tough, tough games last year. Um, and, you know, I, I, I like the team. I like, it seems different now from what it was last year. It seems sure. a little bit bigger, a little bit, uh, more physical, but, but there was always, you know, everything was, was important, important in terms of preparation last year when you faced the flames. Um, they're a team that came at you really hard, um, had really good goaltending in the back end and, and, um, you know, they were difficult games every single time. And, and, uh, you know, it's, it's exciting to be part of that group and, and, and having, um, you know, Daryl have a full, have a, a full year to work with guys is, uh, is going to be fun. Well, you mentioned physical and I know Nikita Zadorov, uh, he brings elements to that. We know that's in your game too, but uh, you know, how much if, uh, if that is a priority in terms of kind of setting that tone early on in the season, that this is going to be a tough building to come in, that's the saddle dome eventually here and, and just a tough team to play against. Yeah, I mean it's huge. It's huge, and and you know the big part about that is being able to do it on any given night. Um, you know you can't do it for the first ten games. Uh, you got to do it for eighty-two. So um, 
you know, you have your off nights here and there, but, but, you know, creating that identity and, and uh, that seems to be the direction in which uh, the team's going. And, and um, you know, that's on us to, to be prepared every night to, to bring that to the table. I know we've kind of touched on a couple of different topics on it, but just for you, when, when you talk about fans and what, what to expect out of your game, I mean, what, what are those hallmarks of your game and what to expect here? Uh, yeah, just being physical, uh, being a big presence on the ice, being a big body that moves well. Uh, you know, I've always taken pride in my skating, worked hard on my puck handling this summer, um, worked with some new guys and, and, uh, you know, just at the end of the day with me, it's, uh, just going shift by shift this year, uh, not too look, not looking too far into the future and, and, you know, just taking care, taking care of what's in front of you all year long. And, um, you know, hopefully we can, uh, we can start that way. Chris, uh, he's starting to tour guide here as far as uh, the sights and sounds of Calgary, or how's that going to work now in the next uh, little while? So, so far, we're watching the tennis match right now. Um, I know. We're, we're breaking it up here. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he can come back. He's been playing well that whole tournament. So um, I'm sure I'm sure I'll get uh, my fair share of uh, Calgary time. And, and it's nice to be out here early to get acclimated with the city and, and get you know a little bit of an understanding of it. Obviously, it's a beautiful place. Uh, lots to do outdoors, which is right up my alley. And and um, yeah, I'm I'm really just here trying to get ahead of my wife and son to get them all set up. So so once training camp's kind of done and over with, that they can walk into uh, a simple move. Well said, well done, and uh, enjoy the tennis. I know we got a big final coming up here on Saturday. I'm sure uh, the rest of Canada will be watching as well. For sure, for sure. Thank you very much, guys.